modelers how's everybody doing hoping everybody getting some build time in uh this is manny manny scale modeling podcast uh or video podcast i should say just a little quick update here on the 74 pickup i'm doing and uh we'll talk about a couple kit reviews i'm going to be doing next upcoming videos here uh one of them's going to be a truck one of them's going to be a car and I was thinking about doing a Bronco, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that one for kit review yet. The other ones have probably already been done, but I've never done them before, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So the Ford, um, still, still in primer, of course. Um, chassis is pretty much almost almost done, so I've got to finish the front end. Um, I'm going to do LED headlights in this one too so let's see if i can get that on there well, i guess you can kind of see it it's hard for me to see it um putting a 302 in it um the 3d resin printed intake valve covers uh automatic transmission and oil pan gonna have a single carb on it kind of like a I think it's like an old old school one kind of see it there it's got the butterflies that are sticking up uh, I'm gonna shoot that with brass and then do the interior of the carb with the silver or aluminum whatever uh, right there is a distributor 3d printed distributor and the, the mount there uh, the detail master wires fit in those perfect um, they're very cool got the rims done for the truck and that's the Revell chrome spray and then I just painted the black and the inside and then uh, chrome silver paint for the lug nuts I left the center cap and the rest of the rims chrome from the Revell chrome spray and I did have to leave it set for God, it was almost uh, almost 24 hours, and it still was a little bit. I mean, when you touched it, it you got your fingerprint on it. But I took a a cotton swab on the sample I did, and kind of not polished it hard, but just kind of got the fingerprint off, and it worked pretty good. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I was gonna do the uh, kit review of uh, to Dodge pickup. Um, uh, I might do the Bronco and the car is the 64 Nova Super Sport, um, which is going to be a, a Pro Street. That one's definitely going to be a Pro Street one, so that'd be kind of cool. Um, this is a Coyote motor, all 3D printed. I'm just doing for like a display, just to set on a shelf or whatever. Um, nothing too fancy. I'm not wiring this up at all just gonna sit cool little build just to sit around though kind of interesting uh the 302 i cut the transmission off which was the standard and just put the automatic on it uh, i'm using uh let's see uh optima battery it's gonna go on the ford and i changed in the color on it i already had the color picked out the wife suggested a color and now she's suggested something else for that one. So now it's going to be um, the House of Color Brandywine. And the Bronco will be the color of my motorcycle that I posted pictures on there. Uh, so this Bronco will be the, uh, it's a brown base coat with crystal copper candy. And then um, uh, candy tangerine sprayed in the first coat of clear. And then other three coats I'll do, two or three coats will be uh, just clear on top of that. So it's an awesome color. I, I posted that on my uh, Facebook Manny Scale Modeling Podcast group. Um, looks pretty cool anyway. Uh, I just wanted to give a quick update on the truck. Since I haven't been on in a few days, I've just been busy here working on stuff. But um, I'm also working on a plane. It's a, a P47, P47 
P470D Thunderbolt. I believe it's 130, oh, it might be 148 scale. But, uh, oh, the, before I forget, the Nova, the 64 Nova is going to be a Pro Street, uh, all detailed, you know, that kind of stuff. But it'll be interesting. Can't wait to get that going. Um, well, thanks for watching a quick video here, and uh, I'll be getting those kit reviews done here pretty soon, and um, be back. Thanks for watching.